Have you ever considered doing a custom build and wondering what it's going to cost? If so, you clicked on the right video. Hey guys, welcome back to the Furtado Group. I'm Ruben Furtado. In our last video, we talked about seven key things you need to know when building a custom home. However, we got a lot of questions regarding what's the cost, especially nowadays in 2019, what would it cost me to build a custom home? So that's what we're gonna be covering today. So to start things off, there's really three things that are gonna affect the cost of the construction project. Number one is gonna be your location. Number two, it's actually gonna be the size of the house. And number three, it's actually gonna be the style of the house. So let's take things a little bit deeper and talk about each one of those individually. So the location. If you're in a location where there's a very hot market, it's likely you're gonna be competing for trades. And if you're competing for trades, they're obviously gonna be asking you a premium, otherwise they're not gonna waste their time working on your project. So I'll give you an example. If you're in the GTA or in the Toronto area, and you get, uh, it could be anything, whether it be framing or concrete work foundations or anything priced out, you'll find that it's gonna be a lot more expensive than if you were out in, let's say, in the Hamilton or Niagara area. So the location will definitely affect it. Also, it's also gonna affect the cost of the land, which is pretty obvious, and that's gonna bring the overall cost of the project up. So, number two is actually gonna be the size of the house. Normally trades, because of the fact that the materials and the labor is actually gonna price things out on the cost per square foot. So the bigger the house, the more expensive it's gonna be. So keep in mind that when you're building, ideally you wanna have a very efficient layout, and if you can, make it a bit smaller, open concept, so that you can keep your cost down. And then lastly, is gonna be the style of the house. So if you're building a traditional type house, the cost uh, would be a certain cost. But if all of a sudden, let's say you're gonna build more of a uh, modern home, for example. Modern homes tend to have much larger windows. They tend to have you know, flat roofs. These are all different things that are gonna affect the cost of construction. Normally it's more of an open concept, so structurally you're gonna to have to have these, the infrastructure to support that. It could be a lot more metal. So that is the other aspect that's gonna affect the cost of the overall construction. Now that we have a better understanding of the three principal things that are gonna affect the cost by far the most, now we wanna break out into two separate categories when we're looking at these costs. Number one is the areas of cost that are gonna be fixed, and that's gonna be things like your permit process, your deposits uh, for, your, for your permits and for like landscaping and so forth. Um, the, uh, it could be your architectural drawings, your engineering drawings, your mechanical drawings. All those costs really are not going to change much based on the location and the size of the house uh, as well as the style of the house. Now, don't get me wrong, there are different architects of different categories in, in, in what they would charge and there's massive ranges, but for the most part that does stay fixed. Now, the, the area of cost where there could be some dramatic differences and you'll see a huge swing is going to be really when it comes down more to the, um, the fit and finish. This is gonna be things like your appliance package. It's gonna be your millwork details. It's gonna be uh, whether you start in it and you know, putting heated floors. That can have a dramatic effect on what the outcome is gonna be in terms of your total cost. And again, we're gonna break down into more details as we look at it at cost per square foot. So now I'm gonna to try to answer the question that a lot of people avoid. Whether you're talking to a builder or whether you're talking to an architect, either way, here it is. What is the cost per square foot? So, to answer that, it's a loaded question. Why? Because we need to understand the location of where the house is being built, because that's gonna affect the cost. We need to understand the total square footage of the home and the style, and eventually, what are gonna be some of the final fit and finishes of the home. But either way, what's really important is to understand, hey, I need to get a range. And how do you do that, right? You do that by basically looking at an existing home, using that as your benchmark and then sharing that with a prospective builder or general contractor and saying, hey, what will it cost to build a house like this in this area, this square footage? They should be able to give you a, a, a number and the number, ideally what you're looking for is, a, is gonna be on a cost per square foot because then you can use that number that if the house grows a little bit in size, as long as it's within the same location, that you'll be able to factor what the total cost of that house is gonna be when it's finished. So I'm gonna actually turn around and plug in some of that criteria so that we can actually use a, a real example. So let's just say the house is going to be in Oakville in a mature neighborhood. Let's say that the house is gonna be 3,000 square feet. Let's say the house is gonna be a transitional home. So we'll give you some images that you can look at here to give you an idea of what a, a traditional home is. Things like 
that are going to be very expected in a custom home. Things like your crown molding, things like your, you know, um, your hardwood floors that are going to be throughout the entire house. So there's no broad room or anything like that in the house. Uh, some of the areas will have heated floors, like in the master ensuite. You're going to have a lot of custom cabinetry. The appliance package, sorry, the appliance package on a, on a property like this completed should probably be somewhere in the neighborhood of fifteen to twenty-five thousand dollars. So a house like this is generally gonna cost you somewhere, and I'm gonna give you guys a range because it really comes down to who's building it and um, also those little fine details. And again, I'll break it down um, to more detail of what I mean by those fine details because you could blow the budget just on a fireplace. But a house like this typically is gonna cost you somewhere between 200 to somewhere around 275, should be more, no more than $300 a square foot. If you are having somebody build this for you, completely turnkey, like a builder's taking ownership, providing you a Terry on warranty. That's a fair number to basically use as a budget on your build. So now that there's an understanding of that range, there are people who spend quite a bit more and people who spend less. And why is that? Well, there's so many other factors to consider. Somebody might add automation to their home, everything from video to audio distribution, lighting, um, certain features like a fireplace, the average budget is like maybe $2,500. Somebody can spend $10,000 on a fireplace. And they may have three fireplaces. You can see how that would dramatically change the overall cost of that home. But this does give you a basis to get a general understanding of what to expect so that if you're trying to figure out whether it's the right fit for you, you can quickly come up with an estimate of what the total cost of that house should be. To wrap it up, now let's look at the costs broken down and what the total cost is going to be using that example. Number one. If you were building in Oakville and you're building a 3,000 square foot home, the average cost of land in Oakville, something that you would build a house of that size, is generally gonna be, let's just say, anywhere from as low as 850 all the way up to probably about close to a million dollars, depending on the location. Then you look at your cost of construction. If you're building 3,000 square feet on a cost per square foot, if you're on the lower end at $200 a square foot, you're looking around $600,000 in construction. So you could potentially be in at the lower lot, lower construction costs, somewhere in the neighborhood of about, I'm gonna say 1.4 to 1.5 million plus carrying costs. However, what we see typically is people are gonna go with a little higher end fit and finish, a little nicer lot. So let's say the lot now is gonna be closer to a million and the construction cost is 300 per square foot. That's another 900,000 in construction for a total of 1.9, potentially your carrying costs, depending on what your financing situation is and how you're doing it. So that gives you a range on the custom build. I know it's a pretty big gap, but like I said, if you wanna figure out specifically what it would cost you, feel free to send us a DM. We could talk specifically about what are some of the things that you're looking for in that home and how it may affect the cost, so you have a much better understanding of what to expect. So guys, we put these videos out there for you. Hope you're enjoying them. And if you are, you don't want to miss future videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, click the little bell for the notification so you don't miss future videos. And thanks for watching.